Hello and welcome to study novels and short stories in ESL. I'm Sajivani Priyangika Vendikul. Topic 2. Reader's Text and the Teachers Learning Outcomes Develop a rational for a student-centered approach to teaching the novels and short story by drawing on relevant theoretical notions. Organize the class to provide opportunities for active meaning making by students both as individual readers as well as collaborations with other students. Develop activities to enable students to actively draw on a variety of response strategies when reading novels or short stories. Articulate the role of the teacher in the literature classroom. Introduction Pearls and Beach in 1972 tells us what is important in teaching literature is the reader and the reader's response to literature. The reason they emphasize this is because there are a variety of ways to approach the teaching of literature. Traditionally, literature teaching has always focused on the text and what was stressed was a careful, analytic reading of literary texts, focusing on literary form and structure of text. Teachers focused on helping students recognize literary devices studying the various patterns and codes in text and seeing how these related to the central theme of the text. While these features are important, what are also important are the reader's thoughts and feelings and the meaning that he or she makes when reading literature. This topic therefore will draw from reader response theory to consider how we may approach the teaching of novels and short stories. Reason for studying literature to become competent users of the language. Studying literature is enjoyable to appreciate the beauty of the text, foster personal growth by encouraging thinking about important issues in life to get a glimpse of life in other societies, to develop readers. Literary Transaction Some of the process involved in what has been called the literary transactions when readers meet the text. The literary lesson has been described as involving a three-way transaction between reader or readers when students engage with one another to discuss texts, text and teacher, each informing and shaping the meaning making, the, making that takes place. In the classroom, the reading of novels and short stories may take place in various ways. Students may read individually on their own, drawing on their own resources to make meaning, T teacher may mediate their reading of text by helping them exploit their own resources, thorough various activities and by providing supporting material. Students may read with other students and explore meaning collaboratively drawing on the resources of the group. The Reader and the Text Traditionally, literature teaching has been greatly influenced by the writing of Matthew Arnold, the 19th century British poet and literary critic. He wrote that literary response the best of human thoughts and knowledge. When we, from this perspective, the teaching of literature becomes a means of passing down a cultural heritage to succeeding generations. Central to teaching literature is an awareness of what happens when we read literature, when we encounter novels and short stories. There is a need to make meaning of the stories that are read. The question is, how does this happen? 
try to understand what happens when readers read literature. We will briefly discuss some ideas about texts and readers from two areas of literary theory. New criticism, a reader response theory. The reader. Bentham and Fox in 1985 write that each reader is unique. They suggest that as teachers, we need to consider three dimensions of the reader, which in our case would be the student we teach, and these will shape the responses that emerge. These include the previous experience of the reader, he saw her purpose for reading the text, he saw her psychological makeup such as attitudes, dispositional interests. The students do not come to the experience of reading story as a black slates. They have funds of knowledge of a range of things obtained through direct experiences they have had such as with family, prayer and, and the community, as well as through the indirect experience such as through the media, including the print media such as books and magazines, films, televisions and internet. Factors which affect our responses to reading. Sense of world, ideas, beliefs and values. Developing informed response. Response may be like the kite that soars in the sky into the sky. It must remain attached to the spool of string, which in its case is the next. Informed response implies the freedom to make interpretation within the constraints of the text so that both the reader's feelings and the ability to reason based on details in the story figure. This must be demonstrated as students express their responses to the novel or the short story. Stances towards text with efferent reading. The word comes from the French word affair, which means to take out. We focus on information. We, we can take away from the text example a phone number from a telephone directory or the year a battle was fought from a history book. With aesthetic reading, we live through the experiences of the text. We speculate and make association with similar experiences. We make head or so our feelings, memorize. Beliefs, values, and imagination all come into play. One way is to consider events, characters, and themes in the story in relation to what students may be familiar with and develop activities that will encourage them to consciously make association with the story and their own experiences. The process of literary reading. Read a story you have not read before. Immediately after reading, write a response to various aspects of the story, including its plot, characters, and setting. Read your response to examine your thinking about the text. Six researchers such as Kokon in 1987 studied the responses of younger readers to text. He suggests that they engage in four types of mental activity. They are as follows. Picturing and imaging, anticipating and retrospecting, engage and construction, valuing and evaluating. Also, as we teach text, it would help if teachers encourage students to visualize the text, including its characters, setting, and events, it will be usual if teachers can bring visuals media into the classroom as part of their teaching resources to help students access the text. Visuals, maps, and sketch maps useful for helping students' local setting. 
pictures including photographs, drawings and painting, charts such as family trees, posters and book covers. As we teach a text, therefore we need to consider activities that will help students anticipate or predict what it is ahead. There are some activities you could try as you teach novels or short story. A good starting point would be to encourage students to make predictions based on the title of the story. As the story is read in class, building poses at crucial points in the story to encourage them to predict what might possibly unfold text. Also building pauses to recall what has already taken place and examine the moment in the story before the class in the light of past events. As you get your students to pause and reflect at various points in the story, use questions such as the following to encourage them to think back to what has already happened and forward to what might occur as a result. The following are some usual questions to ask. How did the present situation come about? What do you think will happen next and why? What do you think will happen at the end? Encouraging students to jot down their thoughts would allow them to be thoughtful and reflect on what they are reading. They can list or play, explain what they know of the story and make prediction or raise questions about what might happen next. When, when everyone has written down their views or questions, build a class discussion around this so that the students can consider a range of possibilities before narrowing down to what they think is the best answer. The teacher, the reader and the text. In teaching short stories and novels, as with other lessons in the classroom, a number of activities are carried out by the reader, teacher. They include the process of planning to teach the text, the development of relevant activities and material, the teaching of literature lessons, the assessment of students' learning. Process in teaching stories and novels. Plan what to teach. Develop activities and materials. Teach. Assess students' learning. Preparing to teach. Planning to teach lesson on the novel or short story involves deciding what portion of the text will be covered, what aspect of the text will be highlighted, what activities and materials will be used to facilitate the process of literary reading? How will teaching learning activities be sequenced? How much time will be allocated to various tasks? How will the class be organized? How will students' learning be motivated and assessed? How will feedback be given? Some aspects of teacher knowledge that will shape planning therefore include his or her knowledge about the nature of literature and literary reading, the names of the curriculum, the features of the text to be taught, the factors that will facilitate students' engagement with the text, the factors that will hinder their engagement with the text, learning resources are available the range of teaching, learning appropriate approaches and techniques that may be used. In reading novels and short stories, students are expected to understand the contents of the tests, recognize and discuss issues of life as presented in the text, understand themes and message in the text, understand plot in the text, Describe characters and interpret their interactions and inter relations with one, with one another. Understand and interpret the contribution of setting to the story. Understand point of view. Identify common literary devices, authors, 
authors employ to achieve their effects, communicate and inform personal response to text, produce a piece of work or a visual in response to the text studied. Additional resources which could make text more accessible. Used supplementary materials, use video clips from the version of the story, use illustrations from other version of the story, use audio taped recordings of the story, use visuals such photographs of dramatic productions, use discussions by literary critics. Factor to consider when planning teaching approaches and strategies, language of text, unfolding story in the text, cultural background, literary features in the planning the lesson, stages of a lesson, closure, self-induction, sets induction, then the development, then the classroom. Reading with other readers, main pattern of class organization, whole class activities, self-directed individual activity, group work, pair work, individual class activity. To encourage collaborative meaning making in class, talk is important. One of the most useful strategies is use of the discussion about novel or the short story that is read. Here students are given the opportunity to share personal stories, express their feelings about aspect of the text as well as explore issues and raise questions. To encourage discussions, the teacher needs to Frame a shootable task as starting point. Create a supportive climate for students to express independent view. Allow time for exploratory talk in class. So I think uh, you have got a pretty knowledge about teaching of novels and short stories in ESL. And I hope you enjoy this lesson. Thank you so much.